Run on the inside from the United States of America. Pan American Games finalist, 2011. 13.53 this season, although his best is 13.08. He's got the outside lane, and then Xi of China, the Asian Games winner, a couple of seasons ago, 13.52 this season, 13.23 is best, all trying to run as fast as Lu Xiang did. Hansi Parchment then, World Championship silver medalist in 2015 in Beijing, tall, powerful, there's Shubenkov, the champion, so you've got the gold and silver medalist in those World Championships alongside each other. Shubinkov, a Russian, by special dispensation, everything's okay with him. Now here is uh, the Olympic champion, Omar McLeod, in poor conditions around 1304. He said he just wants to be to the first hurdle first, to establish the ten of the race. This man frightens him a bit, Ortega. Ortega, I reckon, has got real talent. 1294 in Paris in 2015, but he's consistent. He has been in the past. Former Cuban, now Spanish record holder. There is merit of the United States, recovered from that kidney transplant. Chatted to him yesterday, he says, I'm coming back slowly but surely. I'm not there yet, but David Oliver, we always call him the big powerhouse, the world champion in 2013 in Moscow. He's done so well here in the past. He's another sub-13 second uh, athlete. And right on the outside is Gregor Traber of Germany. 13-6 this season, his personal best though, 13-21, so this is a tough race, and uh, really, you're looking at the World Championship final, or there or thereabouts, Porter, USA, Xi, China, Parchment, Jamaica, Shubenkov, formerly of Russia, McLeod, Jamaica, Ortega, Spain, Merritt, USA, Oliver, USA, Traba of Germany. Cloud now. Hasn't got the block so far back. Now he's going with eight strides. Yeah, he's just rehearsing. He's quick. And sometimes you can hit hurdles when you're that quick. No problems to start. Well, look at this, and certainly McLeod got to the hurdle first, and Ortega chasing him down here. Parchment going quite nicely as well. Ortega and McLeod, these two, McLeod and, and McLeod gets it. Ortega in second place, 13.10. It looked pretty smooth to me, and uh, that was into, well, it was plus 0.5 meters per second. These two are going to do battles right way through this season. Ortega. I like Ortega, he's so consistent, he's a bit taller, but Cloud says, look, I'm not so big, and you could see that when he was standing next to Hansi Parchment, his Jamaican colleague, and that uh, absolutely superb in terms of 13.09, that's a second sub-13.1, Ortega 13.15, Xi of China, let's have a look, he gets into the third place, but my goodness me, what a good race it was. Merritt going okay at the moment, just lacking basic speed. And Benkoff getting dropped. She on the far side, getting just out, gets the dip over Hansi Parchment, uh, who came in in fourth place. But McLeod, he's not as big, but he really is quick. He's a sub 10 second flat 100 meter man. He's gone back to eight strides. He's done the business. What I thought was really impressive, Stuart, was the way McLeod just opened up that half meter, literally with his last three or four strides off the final barrier. He and Ortega came off it virtually together. He sort of slackened a little bit after about three flights. Ortega got back onto terms with him after the quick start from McLeod in the pink on the far side. And then here on the run, look at McLeod, that extra sprinting speed. Remember, he's a sub-10 sprinter. He just eases away from the Cuban. In the space of about three strides, he takes another foot out of him and wins it what looked very comfortably, even though they came off the final barrier, pretty much on evens. Yeah, it was very impressive, and, uh, and McLeod is a real talent. He said, I was so uncomfortable last year. I said, well, it's not bad winning uh, Olympic titles, and he said, my coach and I have decided we're going back to eight strides. I've changed my blocks back round, and, uh, and, and it's looking good. I'm getting there. And, of course, when you have to train the other leg to be the power leg off the blocks, which he had to do with seven strides, then, well, wonderful, wonderful run by McLeod.
A lot to come from him and from Ortega, I fancy. Well, that caps the meeting off nicely, doesn't it? A, a win from McLeod, the Olympic champion, just under 13, 10. And a really, really good battle there with uh, Cuban Ortega through to the uh, finish line. Have another Spanier, look at, I should yeah, say, have another look at Cuban. Yeah, let's have another look at this. I mean, he's not... He, he's, because he's short, he has to make room more. He has to really elevate himself a little more. Those hips have to go a little bit higher. Ortega has got more of a, a hurdler's uh, sort of physique. Uh, but uh, quite frankly, um, you've just got to have the basic speed, and that's what uh, Omar McLeod has got. His personal best, uh, of course, in the hurdles is 1297. So fast. In between them, he's so quick. His trail leg just looks so, not as quick. I like Ortega's trail leg better, but when he gets down to the deck, he's so quick. He's so fast. He's a bit flat-footed, didn't he, when he comes down? But once he hits the deck, he just accelerates again. And at the point we made at the final hurdle, look at this. Look at that. That is significant over the last five or six strides. So the rhythm is coming back to him. Um, you know, it's, it's really interesting how these hurdlers change uh, their start position so that they feel good. It's about rhythm, it's about getting to the first hurdle first, which he did, establish the tenor of the race, and then build on it. If somebody leads you to the first hurdle, then there's pressure. And if you tighten up, then that can affect your technique. And so often it does. But McLeod on this occasion did it all and did it well. Well, Stuart, there was something for just about everybody tonight, wasn't there? For Sean Jackson, a meeting record, 48.65, even though he's uh, announced he's going to retire from 400-meter hurdling. Kibie got 359.22, a world best in the women's 1,500 meters. How dominant was that? Miller Weber, 49.77, a world lead in the 400.